Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to install DNA high performance air filter and de restrict plate on my Hunter 350. So, to begin with, just to get off the side plate, just have an Allen key headed screw at the top here. Need to undo. And then one more uh, at the bottom here. Sorry about the lighting in this video being a little bit worse. Uh, I did this one actually at night in the garage because I got home on a Friday evening and I wanted to ride my bike on Saturday morning. So I decided to do this one in the garage with some uh, work lights. So hopefully this turns out all right. So after those two, uh, two bolts and, or screws are removed, you just have to uh, like pull it out and then forwards towards the front of the bike because there's like a, a rubber grommet held onto a tab at the back, which can be a bit, uh, tight on there. This has exposed the filter plate so just going to remove this. There's three screws. The idea behind this filter is that you'll remove this plate here and um, with that, uh, that one that comes in the kit. But don't get rid of these screws because you will need these screws to install the new plate as the new kit does not come with screws and fasteners. As you can see, the original filter is an air filter. It comes with this uh, plate that has like a 90 degree turn on the air and down. That's to discourage water ingress. And it's just like a foam and paper construction. Uh, nothing wrong with this, it works. But I'm just replacing it with this uh, DNA air filter, which is an oiled air filter. As you can see, it has less pleats, so less surface area. But you know, the, the oil air filter is meant to do a better job so it can afford lower surface area, but have better flow. So. That's what I'm replacing it with. And you can see the comparison between the two intakes here. The DNA air filter has probably five or six millimeter of more diameter on the actual intake. So there's more room for the air to flow into the filter. And it also just doesn't have this 90 degree turn on the front there. So the uh, air filter just goes, slots in there. And now with the DNA filter, you just have to make sure that the little uh, indicator uh, tab at the top there is, got, is lined up with the pin next to the screw. So that's why I'm doing this top left screw first. So that way you can see that little extra hole for the indicator uh, or the locator is, is found. Don't do it all the way up. The, the, the plate actually has a, like a foam gasket so you want to get it evenly, evenly uh, screwed down. So as you're, as, you're, I'm just, as I'm installing, I'm just checking that the uh, air filter is flush with the box. There's no gaps so that uh, particles can go around the air filter. So just checking that frequently to make sure the air filter stays in position correctly. And uh, again, not fully tightening, just going around doing these three screws uh, moderately tight, just so that I can uh, get it all in position. three screws are on there I just check yep it's all flush no gaps between the uh, plate and the air box all good so then I tighten them all up nice and evenly that just crushes down that foam gasket so now we have to reinstall the side plate Again, there's this metal tab here at the back that goes into this uh, rubber little gasket piece. So it can be just a bit tricky to sort of push it on there because it's, it's fairly tight. So once you get it on there, just uh, place it back against the uh, frame. And then it's a matter of just redoing those uh, two screws back up with the uh, Allen heads. Now that uh, you've done all this, um, it's very important that before you ride your bike, you turn it on and you actually let it idle for 15 minutes. So no blipping it, uh, no revving it, no going out for a ride immediately, just because this does have an electronic ECU and it does need time to adjust for the uh, new uh, air feed rate. 
And because I'm doing this at night in my garage, uh, you get the little treat here of uh, listening to my motorbike inside the garage running. That's it, installed, quick and easy job. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya.